Greetings. My name's Nick Angeloff. I'm the Director of Ministry and Outreach for Volunteers of America Northern Rockies. I'm glad that we finally have some sunshine here in Wyoming today. It's good to get out and take a little walk around, do my social distancing. I gotta be honest, I've been a little upset and a little frustrated and feeling like life has been disrupted. And I don't like that feeling. I think most of us would be honest and say, we just don't care for disruption. Change makes us feel uneasy, inadequate sometimes. But today as I was praying, the Lord reminded me, when Jesus was here, he was a disruptor. His whole plan disrupted everything that was going on at the time. And if it hadn't, well, we all know what that means. We wouldn't be where we're at. We wouldn't have the opportunity to do the ministry we're doing now. And our lives would not be uh, in relationship with him. So that disruption was a good thing. So I'm thinking about what does that mean for me? What does that mean for us together as we continue to minister to the broken and the hurting in our neighborhoods, in our communities? How can we take this time of disruption and show the love of Jesus in a positive way. You know, the Sermon on the Mount comes to my mind. This is one of those times where Jesus stood with confidence and authority and reminded the people, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will be called sons and daughters of God. We wanna live blessed. And sometimes that means that we need to understand kingdom values in a different way. And I'm so thankful in our work with Volunteers of America that we get to live with these values in place, with these principles firmly rooted in what we do as we serve others. So I'm hoping maybe you just take a minute to think about that today. Think about the fact that even though our country, our community, maybe even our homes are in disruption, God has a plan for us that goes beyond all those things. And it's a wonderful plan. And when we give to that, he wants to bless us. And I needed to hear that today. I hope you did too. So be blessed and we'll see you soon. Amen.